him to follow us to our destination and take care of us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Thank you. Please stand with me as we pledge allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Board of Adjustments is a nine-member board and we're appointed by the City Council and we serve on a voluntary basis without any compensation. Our procedure for conducting business is that I will call out the name of the petitioner. If you would please come to the mic, speak, speak clearly into the mic, and then be prepared to answer any questions that any <coughs> member of the board might have or anyone in the audience may have. Once we receive public testimony on discussion and discussion for a particular item, members of the board will deliberate and we will render our decision. I remind members with a personal or a financial interest in any item you're required to recuse yourself from voting. Any testimony that is submitted by the petitioner or on behalf of the petitioner during the presentation of the agenda item will be binding as to any decision the board makes relative to the motion. I remind the members of the board that if, you, if we make a motion to die, deny a particular item, a reason must be given. This time I'll introduce the five members that are here tonight, Ms. K.T. Brown, Mr. Nathan Williams, Mr. Corey Johnson, Mr. George Howell, Jr., and I'm John Stanley, your chairman. Our staff that's here tonight is Mr. James Center, Ms. Adina Kramer, our recording secretary, and Ms. Paula Richardson. Now, I need to advise you that it takes five votes to approve a motion for or against. So whatever that motion is, it requires five votes, not a majority. We only have five members here now. More could show up. So that, if you feel as though that may affect your presentation of your particular item, you can delay until the next meeting, which is the third Thursday in July. Otherwise, we will hear your motion and we will vote on it based upon the five that are here tonight. Like I said, someone else could show. We have four more members. They may show, one or two of those may show up. We don't know at this point. So, you can make that decision before you come up here if you'd like. Okay, there are nine items on the agenda. We're gonna move quickly. Item one is presented by Rosalind Collins, requesting a side yard variance for an addition to the dwelling located at 4844 Altamont Drive in an R65S zoning district. Ms. Collins here, or a representative for Ms. Collins? Yes, sir, please come forward. You wanna make your presentation? Well, we were just gonna add to, uh, add addition onto the house, a garage onto the house, existing house. There was one there, but the wind blew it down and it wasn't put up properly. So she asked me to look at it and I told her we need to go before the board before we can put it on right. Okay. I got it. So you're going to come within three feet of the side property line. Right. Okay. And um, you're asking for a seven foot variance. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your relationship to Mrs. Collins? I'm a contractor. You're the contractor. And I'm your name, sir? Stinson Construction Company. I'm sorry. Stinson Construction Company. Stinson. Co okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're the contractor. So you're here on her behalf. On her behalf. Right. Okay. Thank you. Is his name Mr. Stinson? Chairman. Miss, are you Mr. Stinson? Big pardon? Are you Mr. Stinson? I'm Mr. Stinson, yeah. Okay. Um, Mr. Stinson, uh, I'm going to ask you, like we ask everyone else who asked for these type variances, are you willing to put uh, gutters and downspouts on this carport to help keep the water off your adjacent property owner? Yes, sir. Okay. No problem there. No problem there. 
Okay. Well, it's important you keep the water off your adjacent property. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is anyone in the audience, oh, board members, anyone have a question? No, I went by and saw it. I didn't see a problem. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. For the record, could we clarify? He said garage and the applicant requested carport. It's a, it's a, carport. It's a carport. Okay. Carport. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. For the record, can you please state your full name? Sir, she needs you to state your full name. My full name is Lamaris Stinson. Lamaro? Lamaris. L-E-M-O-R-I-S. Lamaris. Just a few of us. Okay. Stinson. Stinson. Correct. Is anyone in the audience that cares to address this item? If not, I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Have a motion for Ms. Brown to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Second for Mr. Williams or Mr. Johnson? Both, I guess. <laughs> second for Mr. Williams. Any further discussion? Except, oh. uh, except one thing. Make sure you add gutters and downspouts. Right, right. He's agreed to the okay. gutters and downspouts. Okay. All in favor of the motion, please raise your hand. It's approved. Thank you, sir. Item number two is presented by Renya Rodriguez Cello, requesting a special exception to keep chickens at 831 South Panama Street in an R60S single family zoning district. Good afternoon, I'm officer um, T with the Montgomery Police Department. Uh, Teague. Uh, T, like the tea you drink, T E A. T E A. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm here to interpret for Ms. Reina. Okay. That's nice. Too loud? No, I okay. said that was nice. Got nice. it. Okay. <laughs> the reason I'm here is because Ms. Reina would like to petition to be able to keep her chickens, is the form that she feeds her family. It's a way that it produces eggs and chickens for her home. She's willing to get rid of some, but she would still like permission to be able to keep some, if that is okay. Okay, so she's, she already has the chickens. She has 20 correct? chickens, yes So sir. was there some, uh, someone in the neighborhood who had a problem with them or there's some objection? They had a rooster and the problem was the rooster. The complaint was not against the chicken, but she got rid of the rooster. Because you really don't need a rooster in order we for We don't allow the rooster. Right. So she got rid of her rooster, but she's just asking to be able to keep her chickens. The problem, the, the chickens were never the problem. It was a rooster. Right. So she already has a chicken coop? She does. He does she does. That meets the guidelines? Uh, according to what she presented to you guys, I'm not sure what the guidelines are. Ask her, does her chicken coop meet the city guidelines? Lo, la, la, la casita de las gallinas está en concordia con las guías de la ciudad, ¿verdad? Tiene la casita para los pollos, tiene donde las gallinas tienen su mesa, de lo que usted sepa, ¿verdad? Porque hay una cierta... According to her knowledge, she says yes. Okay. Well, that's required. Yes. Be sure she understands that. Yes. If there's any doubt about that, she needs to get a copy of those mm -hmm. and, and get compliant. Okay. Okay. Now... Um, I, this says she has 20 chickens. Yes. Okay, but she's willing to reduce that number. Yes. What is she willing to reduce it to? To 10, if need to. To 10 chickens. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay. Board members? Anyone in the audience care to address this item? I'll entertain a motion for 10 chickens and no rooster and compliance with the guidelines for the chicken coop. So be it. Have a motion to approve that. A second. Have a second for Mr. Johnson. She understands that it is to be 10. No more and than 10 chickens. No, no addition. No more than 10. No more. Coop has to be in compliance. La casita de las gallinas tiene que estar en la orden de okay. la And no roosters. Okay. We have a motion on the table and it's been seconded. Have there any further discussion? All in favor, please raise your hand. Okay. It's approved. Thank you. Okay. Hey, be sure she knows she needs to get rid of the other 10 chickens. I will. I got rid of the rooster. She'll Soon. get rid of the chickens. But, but within the next week, okay? Okay. Sounds good. All right. 
Uh, item number three is presented by Jones Brothers Roofing, representing Tim Wilson, requesting a side yard variance for an existing addition to the dwelling located at 3845 Duquesne Drive in an R75S zoning district. Ladies yes, sir, you. Mr. Jones. <laughs> how are you all this evening? Yeah, how you been? We're doing very well. We contracted with... Uh, we need your name, please, sir, Sher for, Sherman for the record. Creel. Sherman Creel. Sherman Creel. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sherman. I knew that. We had... Um, Sherman what? Sherman Creel. We Sherman, you're going to have to speak a little louder into that mic, just uh, so everybody is that, is that uh, understands, particularly our recording secretary. All right. Is that better? Great. All right. Well, we, as you, as you know, I've been here several times requesting side yard variances for carports and covers that we put up. And so we contracted with Mr. Wilson to put his um, carport cover up in December. And we put that up in, um, I think it was uh, February, if I, if I remember correctly. And uh, on May the 6th, uh, someone from the city came down and put a stop work notice out. And I said, well, somebody just didn't evidently get the um, permit uh, recorded or whatever. So I go back to my paperwork and I start looking for a permit. I did not get one. So it is completely my fault that uh, permit was not gotten for Mr. Wilson's job. And so um, I had to come see you guys for a variance as, as it would be after the fact. So it is all my fault. I make no, no excuses. I just did not do it. Okay, so the carport is to the property line. Gutters and downspouts are there. They are taking care of the water, correct? Yes, sir. Your, the adjacent property owner has not complained, I guess. So I think what happened was, and it is neither here nor there. This is all my fault, but Mr. Wilson had hired another fellow to do it, and he was not doing it correctly, so he put him, uh, shall we say, off the premises. And I think after I got it built, that same guy came by and did the complaining, but uh, gotcha. the water does not drain towards the adjacent <laughs> property, but we do have gutters and downspouts on there. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ask, is there anyone in the audience that has, has a question about this because the adjacent property owner could be here? Mr. Chairman, I did look Apparently at not. it. not. Yes, ma'am. I did look at it, and I did not see a problem with it. Okay. Well, the adjacent property owner is not here, so that, that tells me something. You know, tells us. There's no complaint at this point. We entertain um, a motion. Um, any questions, board members, before we ask for a motion? Ms. Brown, I'll accept the motion if you'd like to give so it. So be it. Have a motion to approve to have a second. Second. Second, Mr. Howell. Any further discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Thank Mr. you, admitted. Thank, thank you for admitting that you screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's subject to happen again. We were seen through that one. I'm glad you admitted it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes it's best just to ask for forgiveness, isn't it? <laughs> but don't always assume that's going to happen. Item number four is presented by Jeb Brantley requesting a special exception to keep chickens at 4179 Hickory Drive in an R100 single family zoning district. Mr. Brantley? Yes, sir. You've heard kind of what we expect. You yes, want to sir. go ahead and tell us what you're willing to do? Uh, I currently have six chickens. We're wanting to be able to house more in the future. I have Wait, a, you're going to have to speak more clearly I'm, into the mic. I'm sorry. We currently have six chickens housed. Uh, we're wanting to be able to house more in the in the future, we have a structure that was built a few years back as a dog run. It's a 15 by 30 foot, six foot tall chain link fenced enclosure in our backyard. Uh, the bottom array of the chain link has been concreted into the ground as to protect the animals from predators because 
adjoining our property is a wooded area and so we end up with possums and raccoons and uh, just different wildlife that frequents our yard. Uh, I do have a fully built four foot by eight foot chicken coop that is capable of handling up to 20 chickens that is fully ventilated and easy to clean. We're just, we just want to make sure we go through the proper channels of this. I do have pictures of the coop if y'all would like to see them. That's okay. What about roosters? No roosters, only hens. Okay. Okay. Question, board members? He wants to, excuse me, Ms. Brown, one second. He's, uh, let me remind you, he's, he has six now. He wants the ability to increase that number, correct? Yes, sir. What number are you asking 15. for? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right, any questions? Uh, the only thing I can say is um, I can see no rooster and ten, no no more than ten okay. in the community. We'll, okay, we may, I'll let you make that motion if okay. that's acceptable. No more than ten, any, even with the size of our lot being a full hold acre. On, hold on. Any other questions? Anyone else has, has a, would like to address this item or has any questions? Ms. Brown, I'll yeah, accept the motion. I move that we uh, approve uh, the chickens with no rooster and no more than 10 chickens. Second. Motion by Ms. Brown, second by Mr. Howell. Any further discussion? All in favor of the motion to limit the number of chickens to 10, please raise your hand. Okay. Item five is presented by Fevelio Ramirez requesting a special exception for church use in existing dwelling located at 2421 Upper Wetumpka Road in an R65D zoning district. Mr. Senator, is this the property we talked about? It is, sir, and apparently- You want to come forward some, on this? We may have had some misinformation. Okay. Okay, so they said that they had called and said that um, the, the man told them that they got to wait until this um, appointment they had. Yeah. You're not talking into the mic. It's probably before you. Uh, go ahead. Oh, speak a little louder, Zane. No one else on the board is aware of what's going on here. Apparently, they still have an option on the house, so it's probably before you as the, as the request is written. As, as the request is written, it's properly before you. It's properly before us. Yes, sir. They still, have, they still have an option on the house. They have an option to purchase the property. Yes, sir. But they don't own the property yet. No, sir, but they have an option. They had that when they made application. Then any approval we give would be subject to them owning the property. Yes, sir, and actually, that they, they would have to obtain property and that is subject to your approval, them going forward with the purchase. When do they expect to take ownership of the property? It's for like gaining like 30 for like to buy the property to make a church for the community? When do you, when do you expect to buy the property? So they said, so they said, she said that um, they tried to first get the request from y'all first. I can't, ma'am, I can't hear you. They said they, they want to get the request first from y'all, and then so they can start the treatment um, during this week. Okay. Well, the use would be limited until you uh, take ownership. Mrs. Chair. If we approve it. Mm -hmm. okay. Mrs. Chair, do they have uh, authority to uh, make this presentation? Yes. To come before yes. us for this yes. presentation? We can make our approval subject to them taking to ownership of the property. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, let me make sure we're right. 
you will have approximately 35 members, correct? Yes. And are you agreeable to these hours of services that are outlined here? Yes. All right, now, looks like to me that wh where, are these, where are your 35 members going to park? Are they going to park in front or behind the property? In front. James, are we are we approving just the use at this point, or are we approving the development plan? You will be approving the use, the use traffic engineering. You'll be approving the use. The traffic engineering department will have to approve a detailed parking plan that will suffice to the 35 members, which will be in the front and the rear, and it will not be released until that's satisfied. So all we're doing is approving the use, no development. Plan. Yes, sir. And if they can't, if they can't get the traffic engineering, uh, okay, they, th it won't happen. Okay. All right. Um, I think I've out, kind of outlined the, your request for the board here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, board, do y'all have any questions? Uh, they don't own the property yet. They're trying to get an approval for the use right now. And our, our, our approval can be made subject to them actually owning the property. And what? then the, the Planning Commission approves their development plan at a later date. Mr. Chairman, why can't they come back after they own the property? Well, what they're trying to do is make sure they get our approval for the use of the church before they commit to buy the property. And we, we do that all Mr. Chairman, we do that all the time because... That's nothing unusual. Yes, sir. But they're, they're just trying to make sure that the use is approved before they actually buy the property. But, but so they, they can't come now. If people seem to like buying it, 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 they're not with them. So why they are not here today for the back of what they're saying? That person you're talking about, who you're talking about, but well, they, they should be here, I, I would assume. They, they don't want to go spend the money to buy the property until they know we've approved. And that's why I say I think they should be here. If they want to buy it, we can, what's the difference? We say, yeah, you can do it, and then they don't do it. But I don't understand why they can't, couldn't come with them. I, I don't well, understand that much. Well, again, they want to know that we've approved the use for church before they commit to buy the property. Our approval can be made subject. They can't use it for a church until they actually purchase the property. Who's actually purchasing the property? Is it this lady right they here? They would. Are y'all purchasing the property or someone else purchasing no, the property? No, we purchasing it. You're purchasing yes. the property. Okay. Okay. So that's that's the deal. Is there anything you want to say, ma'am? Uh, I've sort of done all the talking here yeah. trying to help you out. To, yeah. So everybody understands what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Is okay, there anything so else you want to say? No, that's that's it. Okay. All right. Question for members. Y'all will be given the. I'm gonna let see if the board members got any questions. And I'll give y'all an opportunity. Any qu any questions, board members? Okay. Anyone in the audience who care to address this item, please come forward. And we will need your names and addresses, please, ma'am. If y'all, please come and speak clearly into the mic. I'm Virginia Nobles, and I live at 2420, directly across the street. I've been there almost 47 years. Okay, Ms. Noble. And I'm Iris McGee. I live right next door to the property, to the north of the property. Ms. McGee and Ms. Nobles, right? Okay. Okay. All right, go ahead. Speak clearly. Yeah. Okay, I'm not here to condemn a church because certainly I, I'm a Christian and I'm not against the church, but it's an awful big undertaking they are taking uh, because I know the house. I knew the boy that bought the house to renovate it and he gutted it and it's going to cost thousands of dollars to repeat it. There's no walls, there's no ceiling. There's no floors in the bathroom. The floor is completely, you can see the ground and the plumbing under there. Windows are broken out. Doors are not 
closed and it is just dilapidated condition. And, you know, I hate, it would be a major undertaking. Buying the house is gonna be the cheap part, but fixing it is gonna be the major part. And uh, the parking, the lot is really deep behind the church. It's not very deep in front, but in the back, there's a lot of space back there that they could. And is there a sponsor, a local church that's sponsoring this? Do you know? Or is it just someone decided do not to... Do not know. I didn't ask that question. Oh, okay. And, of course, the activities, the 1030 on Friday night is a little bit late for a church meeting. That's my observation. I, I go to Eastmont. I, you know, I've been there 15 years, and I was at Rigby Street 36 years prior to that, and I don't know church services that go on until 1030 at night. And the noise factor was we were considering that. And uh, as I said, the house is, because Millard Andrews did not have the money to complete what he set out to do when he did that. And we don't know who the owner is now. I don't know whether he sold it. I know he was trying to sell it. And I don't know what, what has happened there. Okay. Let me ask, we didn't know that that was uh, zoned R65D along there. She lives on that side. Is that whole side of Upper Whitcomber Road, that block all? Because there's no duplexes there. There's a little added on apartment on the one on the south side of that house that the, they are talking about. From, from the... Uh well, from the information we have on our agenda, it appears that all of that is zoned R65D, mm -hmm. which is a duplex residential use. Well, she didn't know it, and she's lived there all of her life. Um, well, you can convert your house to a duplex if you wanted to. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, but I, I, when was it zoned that? I mean, has oh it always been? Oh, my gosh, been? I don't know. That, that goes back a long time. It's okay. probably been that way 50 years. Okay, if this lot is zoned that, can they go in there and build multiple houses? No, ma'am. It, it's only zoned for duplex use. Okay, so this is a small house. It's probably, I think, a kitchen, bathroom, and maybe four other rooms. It's yes, not a real large house. I think the bathroom's good. Yeah, the whole thing, the plumbing, the, I don't know that there's any wiring in there. I don't think there's, you know, it's just going to have to be completely refurbished on the I understand. Thank you. And uh, so it, if so they... So you're, you're, are you asking us to deny this request? Well, I just want answers. I want to understand what's going on because I've been there almost 47 years and I don't want to move, you know. Well, well we're, we're here to approve the use, not to inquire well, how much money they're going to spend on it. Or so how what they're if going it turns that. into a multifamily dwelling? It could be a duplex use, not a multifamily. Okay. So not, I mean, if they decide not to use it for a church, instead live there? They could live there. How about build, they, can they build extra buildings out behind it? They could build buildings that could be used for storage purposes only. Okay. How about if it's a business operating no, out of it? Because I've seen, I've seen no, trucks over there. No, ma'am. Cannot. Okay. I've seen trucks Unless over there that were had the cutting the grass that had renovators on the side of it, two trucks that go in that go over there to cut the grass. Now where the... Well, they, they can do that, but they can't operate a business out of it. Okay, okay. You have a question? I don't think so. Well, I just want to know what's going on in my neighbor. I just want to know what's going well, on in my neighborhood. Well, that's very important, and I encourage you to continue to know what's going on. Well, thank you so much. I grew but up you in don't that... know who owns the house. No, ma'am, do not Millard know. Andrew did. I grew up in that neighborhood, so I know all about it. Oh, you that. did? Well, she might know you then, but, you know, I know he was trying to sell it and just could never get a sale for it, so I didn't know whether he had given it to the church or something like that. So. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. All right. All right. Um, have y'all got anything else to say? No. Okay.
Anyone in the audience care to address this item? I will entertain any, any further questions. I'll entertain a motion. And remember, if you make a motion to deny, you have to give a reason. Okay? I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve as presented. Do you have a second? Second. Have a second. All in favor of the motion to approve, please raise your hand. All opposed? The motion is denied. Not, not approved tonight. Okay? Thank you. You got all that? Mr. Howell made the motion to approve. Mr. Johnson made the uh, second in that mm -hmm. motion. Did okay. kick? Item six is presented by Luis Marino, requesting an special exception for a mobile home to be located at 13120 Edna Blake Lucas Drive in an Act One zoning district. Mr. Marino. How you doing? I am doing okay. Hold on just a second. You just fell. Uh, he just fell for lack of hope. I think it's all about that. Mr. Moreno. First of all, good evening to all of you members of the City Council. Thank you for the opportunity to allow me to approach the, the bench. And as you say, my name is Luis Moreno. I am the owner of the uh, lot six and seven of the, uh, I guess, subdivision known as Edna Breaks Look at Drive, and uh, commonly known as uh, 13120 Edna Lucas uh, Break Drive or Edna Break Lucas Drive and 13150. And I was just trying to see if I could have the permit to go ahead and put uh, uh, two manufacturers home, one on one acre and the other one on the next following acre. If you can see over there, I am on the item six and number seven. Okay, so we're going to take on both six and seven at the same time. They're both the Please. same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, two mobile homes, uh, these lots are, I believe, adjacent to each other? Yes, sir. Minimums, they are. And they are at least 50 feet back from the property line? Yes, sir. They will not be used for rental purposes? No, they will not. Just living. They will be, uh, actually, I got a family member. One will be inhabited by him and his family, and the other will be for another family member that I propose to kind of uh, let them rental. have it. Not for rental? No, not for rent. They will be uh, actually the legal owner of the uh, properties. I will let them have it, uh, transfer the uh, uh, deed to them, and so they can go ahead and put the uh, uh, mobile homes. We already uh, kind of gave the down payment on one of the uh, manufacturer home, but we're just waiting for the approval. We have already applied for the uh, uh, permits on the uh, health department for the septic tank, and it has already been approved. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Any, any questions, board member? Ms. Brown? I, I've looked at it, and I didn't see a problem with it. It has enough space, and uh, according to what he wants, uh, it can be done. Okay. Any uh, other questions? Yes. Is this... James, is this in the city limits or the police jurisdiction or what? It's in the police jurisdiction. Police jurisdiction. Okay. This is way out in the country. That's yes, sir. Asking. Way yes. out there. Any other questions? Anyone in the audience care to address this item? If not, I'll entertain a motion to... For number six that. and seven. Mr. Howell. Motion to approve number six and number seven on our agenda as presented. Second. Have a motion by Mr. Howell, second by Ms. Brown. Any further discussion? My second depends on it not be rented. Sure. It's this this approval provides that the property is not used for rental purposes. 
For what purposes is that? For? No, 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 no. Yeah. It will not. That was be. part of your testimony. Yes, you will exactly. Yeah. No, it will not be for that. But no. As presented. Okay. okay. All right. All in favor of the motion to approve without rental prop, uh, without the use of rentals. It carries. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you, that. Good to Very see much. you again. Thank you. Number eight is presented by Lawrence Harkless, representing Kingdom Seekers. Requesting a special exception for church use in a building located at 209 Gun Road in a B3 zoning district. Hello, sir. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. Mr. You Mr. Harkless? I am. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Tell us what you want to do. Uh, well, we uh, recently acquired the building back in February. Uh, it's going to house our sanctuary and our child care center. We're presently in the child care business as well. And so uh, we're going to have a child care center there and a sanctuary there. Uh, sanctuary capacity is right around 200 is what we're going to be able to get into the sanctuary. The building 11,000 square foot has a uh, warehouse. It used to be old Bernie Office Solution building. And uh, the warehouse on the back has been converted into a sanctuary and uh, did not know that we needed a special permit for the sanctuary. We were told to, for a church. We were told that we didn't need one for the child care center, but I uh, did not know we needed one for the church until I went down to get some paperwork uh, at the city for the child care center to inform me of that. And so here I am. Okay, so we know you want to use it for church use. Yes, sir. But the agenda does not say that you want to use it for child care use. Mr. Chairman, that's, was, a, per, that's a permitted use in that zoning. Right. That's not before you. Gotcha. Right. That's what I was talking Okay. About. Thank you, Mr. Board members, I thought that was the case. Board members, y'all understand that? It's a permitted it's use in that repeated. zoning anyway. Okay. It's permitted use for child care. It's, it's committed. It's a permitted use. So you've been operating there? Yes, we have. Uh, are we hearing this because of some complaint, Mr. Senator? No, sir. When it was inquired about the licensing for the daycare, it came up that it was under the umbrella of a church and we realized that we didn't have an approved church and it, it had gotten past the church elders and they're, they're in here rectifying that now. Gotcha. Okay. Any questions, board members? <coughs> Anyone in the audience care to address this item? I'll entertain a motion. So be it. I have a motion to approve Ms. Brown. Do I have a second? A second. Second, Mr. Williams. Any further discussion? All in favor, please raise your hand. You approve. Thank you, sir. Yes, yeah, have a good evening. Thank you. Item nine, presented by MDM Services Inc. Representing Circle K Stores, requesting an exception to the Smart Code for a new building to be located 318 Madison Avenue in a T40 Smart Code Zoning District. All right. Um, Several things to be considered here, and so we'd like for you to take them one at a time, make sure we understand who, what they are and where they're located. Okay, go ahead. Good evening, Council. Um, for the record, D.V. Sartinathan with MDM Services for Circle K Stores, Inc. I'm here with me, Chris Motes with Circle K Stores. Uh, Council, as you know, we came in front of you last year uh, for some uh, Excuse me, you're going to have to speak a little louder yeah, and clearer. We, we, came, we came in front of you last year for some uh, variances on the site layout of this project. And as you know, we've been working over a year on this project uh, through several challenges in engineering, utilities, etc. And we, we need your help on a few items here. That's why we're here today. So I'll be quick and go through these items. First is the uh, seventy percent facade glass that requirement in the in the, in the smart code um, as you can see on our elevations that we presented um, I think six different perspectives of the building um, the glass that we have showing on the facades is proportional to the entire facade and I believe this code was uh, the seventy percent was written for a multi-story building because as it reads it's 70% of the sidewalk level story 
So uh, it's obviously it's a single story building and uh, where, we have, where we do not show the glasses, where we have uh, coolers and other merchandising equipment. Uh, so obviously we cannot have glass over that. So we're asking for that variance. Um, what we are providing is a 21.8%. That's across the front only, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That's the only entrance area. Um, the second item, obviously, is, uh, is, is the signage. And we've listed uh, six items on the signage for variance. And I'll be, uh, we have a, I think we have a signage plan on the last uh, slide, maybe. Um, our agenda contains yeah, okay, that's a breakdown good. You, you of have all this. Yes. So uh, uh, if you I don't need, think uh, it will it be very difficult to identify well. each one. They're numbered on our agenda. Yeah. Okay? So let's take one through six. Okay? Yes. Item one is the 20-foot tall sign. Yes, sir. That's the, uh, that's the main ID sign, where we also will have uh, two LED signs along with that. That includes that item number one. And that's located on the uh, intersection of Madison and um, Hall Street. Right. Question. Question. Mr. Howell. Your Attachments say it's located on a northeast corner of Hall and Madison. Yes, sir. It's not. You want it on the southwest corner of Hull and Madison. Southwest corner. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's southwest corner of that intersection. It's on the northeast corner of the block, but it's on the southwest corner of the intersection of two streets. That's correct, yeah. Of okay. the, of two, yes. All right. But it's uh, graphically shown correctly on the plan, though. It's not, it's on the northeast corner of your property. Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Clear. Okay. Item two. And, and what? Time out. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, you've got two LED signs there. Yes, sir. That's the. Um, it's for the fuel signs. Fuel and the yeah. fuel price. That's the only two. Yes. Those are digital. Yeah. Those are LED uh, for the fuel. Fuel, fuel pricing. Okay, but they don't blink. They don't. Pull, they they blink, do not blink. No sir. They're fixed, right? They're fixed, right? Yes. Yeah. No blinking signs. No blinking okay. signs. And no video sign. There's no video. That's on correct. This. Okay. That's correct. We just got to make sure for the record. Okay. Yeah. That's correct. That's it a, don't matter till it matters. That's a good question. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Next to number two. Number two is the uh, 36 square foot band sign on the canopy. Um, we show it on the west end of the canopy. Okay, on the west end only? Yes, sir. Okay. And number three is a 65 square foot band sign on the front facade of the building. That's the corporate logo, Circle K. Item number four. Uh, yeah. Okay. Item number four is a 23 square foot band sign uh, on the front facade of the building, which is the um, made to go, uh, good food made fresh. Okay. The number five is, uh, is two directional signs, 10 square feet um, on each, uh, on the west and the east side uh, entrances. That's a Circle K entrance. Those are directional signs only, correct? Yes, yes sir. All right, and uh, 10 square feet each? Yes, sir. What's that, two by five? Yes, two, two 10 square foot each. Excuse me? Two, there are two signs, one on the east side and one on the west side, and they're each 10 square feet. But how, how, how tall are they? Uh, I believe they are Well, like it's, it's, four foot, it's four foot tall. Four foot tall. Yeah. But not blocking visibility or traffic. No, no, uh, sir. Traffic visibility. No. Okay. Not lighted. Correct. No. 
Not lighted, correct? It's not lighted. Internal. Not internally lit? Not internally lit, no. Okay. Wait a minute. What, you said no to internally lit. Number all, five. All signage will be internally lit. All signage. What does that mean? Yeah, that, those two signs are not internally lit. Those two are not. So why did you have a window? Yes. Well, he, he, should have, he should have said except, he should have said except number five. Okay. okay. But all of your other signage is internally lit. That's her question. Yes. All signage is internally lit except those two directional signs. That's right. Except okay. number five. Yes, right. sir. Okay. Okay. All right, go ahead for number six. Item six is uh, 21 square foot band sign that we're currently showing it on the west side. As uh, Mr. Hull pointed out before the meeting, you know, that sign is impeded by the existing building and also, as well as some tall trees. So we are respectfully requesting that we move that to the east side. Right. It's internally lit as well? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So you're moving it to the east side of the building? Same position? Yes, sir. Same position Same on the Same position building. on the east side, yes, sir. Okay. All right. East side of the Everybody clear? Any questions for board members? No. Traffic engineer and saying the freestanding signs both are okay. James, I'm assuming there's no setback requirements here on any of these signs? No, sir. The setbacks are being met because the you smart code... speak louder. The, the setbacks are being met because of the way smart code is written. And in fact, if this was, if we were one more block over, if you notice we're in a different zoning than, a, a different smart code zoning, several of these wouldn't even, they would have been legal if they were one more block over. Okay. In your opinion, everything else is compliant with smart code? Yes, sir, and, it's, and, it, and it, it seems to be, we looked at it very hard, it's, it's, it's within the industrial, industry standard, but it's meeting a lot of the intents, it's just the, the industry's not quite caught up with smart code, so it's within the guidelines of things that we've proved, this board has previously approved. Okay. All right. Any Questions, board members? Anyone in the audience care to address this item? Anything else you want to say? Yes. Uh, Chris Moe, Circle K. I'd just like to say we're really excited about this project. Um, and uh, the uh, minor uh, request that uh, we've made uh, is just to address certain issues with the smart code as it relates to signage that some buildings typically wouldn't have. Uh, and it's uh, mostly uh, dictated by industry standards for gasoline pricing that's done at the national corporate level. So we're really excited about it. And just want to thank you for you know, your support. Any further discussion? I'll entertain a motion. I move that we grant the request as stated with the necessary corrections two corrections uh, the description of I, of sign number you're gonna one. make a second wait a minute you oh. gotta, wait a minute okay. you got to make a motion you made the motion now do I have a second second that motion second okay now further discussion further discussion just to be clear we are changing the description of the location of sign number one that's all the signs gonna be on the corner it's just saying where that corner is yes sir no big deal. Northeast corner of the site. Of the site, not the intersection. That's correct. And number six will be on the east end of the building instead of the west end. That's correct. Okay. Same location, but on the opposite yeah. wall. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All signage will be internally lit except number five. All signage is internally lit except the, Number five. the two directional signs. Yes, sir. Okay. No blinking signs. No blinking signs. <laughs> <laughs> no pulsating. That's right. Okay. We have a motion as presented. 
and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. It carries. Thank you for what you're doing. Go. Appreciate it. All right. Good presentation. We look forward to seeing this downtown. I worked downtown for 35 years, and I'd love, I'd like to see something good like this. Thank you, Mr. Yes. We have a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. So moved. I all in favor say aye. No, hold it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Time out. What? Look on page three. Of the minutes? Uh-huh. You got Jay Tidwell twice. Let's see item number five, J. Tidwell, at the end, presented by J. Tidwell. J. Tidwell presented this request. J. Tidwell presented this request. Yeah, this is when just is the, the title uh, of it. Yeah. Is it going to be uh, up All right. Hang on. Okay. Oh, it's the same sentence. All right. Have a motion to adjourn? Yes. Aye. 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 Aye.